we talk a lot about Israel on this show, but with all of the problems we have here at home, some are asking why the U.S. should be so involved in Israel's affairs. No doubt October 7th was one of the darkest days in human history, and the horrors the hostages have suffered are just unimaginable. But for many Americans, finding it difficult to make ends meet, struggling to put food on the table and fill up the gas tank to get to work, they may be asking why should Washington be focused on Israel's war. Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu called it a war on civilization because we see so many around the world supporting Hamas, including here in America. These are people who support a terrorist organization that hates America, not just Israel. But does this go beyond idealism? Does the U.S. have a vested interest in Israel's war with Hamas in our Middle East involvement? Is it absolutely necessary? For more perspective on this, I want to bring in Michael Makovsky. He's the president and CEO of the Jewish Institute for National Security of America. Michael, thank you so much for being here. You've worked extensively on U.S.-Israel defense ties. Does the U.S. have a vested interest in Israel's war against Hamas, a terrorist organization? Yes. First of all, thanks for having me, Stella. I, um, we certainly do. Look, I, unless you, you believe that America could survive by just... Uh, you know, closing our borders and uh, ignoring the rest of the world completely, uh, which I don't, uh, the world will find us even if we don't really want to interact with the world. One of our, I do believe we need to have closed borders though. And actually it does get to the issue what's going on in the Middle East. Uh, one of our most important regions strategically, historically has been the region, partly for oil, but also because Israel has been such an important ally of the United States. And I think really, um, it's it's not just they're an ally, they're really integral to the, what America wants to do in the world. They're on the same side. They're viscerally tied to the United States. In our, in, we have the shame to have the same ideals, the same strategic goals, I believe. And the, the our biggest nemesis in the Middle East and one of our biggest enemies in the world, you know, counting with, let's say, China and Asia and maybe Russia, in, in Europe is Iran, and it's Iran that is behind a lot of the disorder and the terrorism in the region. And unless Israel wins this war uh, against Hamas, um, Iran will be the winner and will all the uh, other anti-American Islamic jihadi terrorists. And I think that would be terrible for the United States and our interests. For all our viewers asking where One America News is heading in the future, we would like to introduce you to OAN Live. OAN Live is the best way to stay up to date on all of the hard-hitting, straight-shooting, national and international headlines. And the best part is, OAN Live is only $4.99 per month. All the credible, honest, unbiased reporting One America News offers at a fraction of the cost of cable. Just go to OANN.com to easily sign up for OAN Live and stay informed.